Hello everyone, Kay Kim here from Traders Cup. Today is April 30th, Tuesday, about 30 minutes before the uh, market opening here. I thought I'll do a quick video on SPY's, uh, S&P 500 Trust ETF here and just kind of talk about what we are looking for here because apparently we are trading at a pivotal level. This is going to be the very important level that we, uh, we should be watching today. Today and tomorrow will be very important where it closed today, uh, where it it opens tomorrow and so that I'll just kind of give you a quick overview and well just recently uh, or today you know what you're looking at in this chart is that uh, we're looking at uh, back here is about 2000 November here and until today this is this is a yesterday's candle there so but what I want to examine here real quick looking at this kind of a about you know one year and a half uh, worth of a uh, chart over here is that well you know the definition uptrend is what it is continue to make that higher highs and the higher lows here but what happened back here this was a March 2012 before the corrective move and we had a great uh, uptrend move here but what happened was essentially that that trend started to kind of slow down a little bit you can see that you know it started to uh, pretty much move started moving sideways here and what happened was what well, this was a you could say that this was higher high and higher low but what happened was when it came back up it failed to create another higher high uh, thus creating kind of a flat top here and then we kind of formed that flat bottom here I mean obviously these lows were a little bit higher but you can see from the angle of there compared to how you know how far we come from it you know I mean, you can definitely see some slowdown and then we found some support at this level and you're trying to get back up to create maybe another higher high but we failed to do so and so that was a critical at this level that you know we should have made another higher high we didn't make another higher high does uh, you know we kind of gave out here and we had that corrective move and this was a uh, probably about you know three weeks or so of a corrective move here that's a good size of corrective move so um, and then we come back here June last year June to about uh, October or so uh, we essentially did the same thing here we continue to make you know higher lows and the higher highs and we continue to do that but what happened was well it stopped making higher lows and higher highs you can see that we got flat lows and uh, we got the you know essentially kind of declining highs there uh, you can see that we were na we were not able to make another higher high so when you see something like that that's kind of when you see the well, trend is start to shift I mean the primary trend is still intact but we're looking at the intermediate trend okay these are the intermediate trend we're talking about here in the primary trend obviously primary trend is bullish because in, a, in the big scheme of things we are creating you know the higher lows in the big scheme of things but I'm talking about intermediate trend here so uh, we can see that as it start to move sideways like this uh, we, we we were not able to create another higher high and we essentially create the flat lows um, equal lows and that is a kind of early, early indication that the trend is start to lose its momentum and the, and the correction is uh, possibly on its way and so last time we saw it happen back here it happened back here so today we're looking at the same thing essentially here we're making higher lows higher highs and uh, what happened was it was a little bit this time let me just close it up a little bit here zoom it a little bit different here uh, at this time is because well we did make a higher low and then we we essentially pause here to make you know and then we had a flat top and then it came up create a higher high and what happens is many times when it creates a higher high when it comes down from that high it creates a higher low and then goes back up but at this time though you can see that we created a higher high but when it came down it should have came down maybe in a halfway and then create the higher low and continue higher but we didn't do that what happened was we'll create a higher high came back to the lows from this level so essentially we're looking at these lows you can say that the trend is start to kind of lose its momentum because we're continue to make that flat bottom flat bottom is usually the early indicative sign that that possibly the, the you know the trend is starting to lose its current momentum so that's something that I've been watching there and that you know what's gonna happen is well it's gonna try one more time from this point on to find some support and goes higher and create another high and if we do create another high today tomorrow this week and then come back down to create a, high, a higher low and then goes up that would that will continue and resume its trend 
and that's what the definition of, of uptrend is. However, given the fact that we have been putting these flat lows, these equal lows, and that we are possibly uh, slowing down here with the equal highs, these flat highs, uh, if we start to come back down here today, we close below this level today, and then continue to come higher, there's a high possibility that we could have some kind of correcting coming in the next several weeks. Um, so it's very important that where the stock is trading today, if it, if it can able to uh, hold, hold higher and if it can able to close above it and then creates another high and then come down and then creates another uh, higher low and then to able to resume with this trend. So this is a very critical level that we able to uh, break above this level if you're bulls. If you're bear, um, you, you know, we got to make sure the bears are hold this level and then make sure to put this thing down and yet create it on another lows. When we start to, when we have this flat highs and flat lows, that is a very indicative and very significant at best that, you know, we are going to have, it's very high probability that we start doing that. It is very probable that it's going to have that, uh, you know, that correct image move and so that's kind of what we're looking at here today very important today and tomorrow and also one of the you know the thing that we, we want to start to worry about a little bit is that well this you know recent uptrend right there it has been really uh, you know confirmed with the volume uh, a volume in doubt years suggests that volume must confirm the trend and I, obviously this is gonna be a minor trend we're talking about here so uh, you know just this strength of that uh, trend I'm not sure how much it has because of, you know because just that low volume and you can see that these high volumes uh, these these just this monsters volumes has been created by the bears and as you can see that so there are there are tons of people or there are, there are a lot of bears just sitting around just waiting around to really push this thing down because you can see all this pressure coming in from the bears to really take this thing down so you know just because the last five days we haven't seen bears doesn't mean that they are not around they are there it's just that they're just letting bulls have their turn but when the turn is shifted you know you've seen some of their powers with these kind of volumes so there's something that you shouldn't be ignoring and something that you shouldn't be just uh, dismissing just because we've seen five days of uh, you know bullish run here and just also plus we're at a pivotal level here that we're continue making these lows and that if we if we fail to make uh, you know another higher high it is a troubling for the bulls because they could be come down pretty fast and when the you know when the um the correctional move comes uh, something to be very very prepared about that but here I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with some of the MACD studies here so just kind of confirm with what I've talking about with my chart analysis is that well you know MACD kind of confirms what I've been talking about here so I want you to pay attention to these MACD basically well we talked about higher lows higher highs flat lows flat tops and uh, you know essentially losing its momentum moving sideways that kind of thing but you know MACD also confirms uh, that analysis that I just talked about basically what happens about this level here in this vicinity will make this start to roll over and essentially will stock trying to go higher or this ETF trying to go higher but you know essentially kind of gave up a little gave out at this vicinity and then we had that correcting move but before that happened well MACD was already starting to roll over and then you know that's kind of when divergence really happened here you can see that uh, you know essentially the ETF went up but the MACD went down and so that was kind of an early indication that the trend is really moving its momentum same thing happened here um, you know you can see that some sort of divergence back here and then you know essentially you know this moves sideways but look at the MACD how well it, it, it started losing its momentum start rolling over while on ETF really Really trying to sustain its move and really trying to you know form some kind of a channeling action here maybe some people say this is a cons consolidation to go up higher and many times it is true that you know there's some consolidation happens and go up higher it happens a lot in stocks and things like that but just for some reason for indexes it doesn't like to go sideways I've been saying that a lot once they start to go sideways there's a lot of times that that in you know that, that, that you know what I mean the correction of move is in store it is inevitable that it's gonna happen uh, you know, most times they when the move sideways. Well, same thing is kind of happening. Well, from since back here, we've been forming this divergence here. After that, you know, ETF continue to go higher. But look at this. Uh, look at that. How you know, MACD starts really roll lower. That really suggests that you know that this there's a, there's a lot you're losing a lot of its momentum. And and uh, you could say that. Well, look at this. Doesn't that supposed to be a buy signal there? Because that you know we have the blue line coming up and red light in the below. And well, it could be, but 
you can see that we have something like that before there and also you can see that that's what we had back here as well that was this peak right there it looked like it was a buying signal right at that level but essentially that was the topping pattern here and same thing happened at there that was a buy signal if you want to look at these levels as a buy signal but you know once you start the momentum starts shifting on MACD it was uh, imminent that you know that has a corrective move coming I'm not saying the corrective move is imminent I'm saying that there's a high chance high probability that that is going to happen let's continue with a uh, deeper studies here let's go to my oscillators and obviously this oscillator same thing pretty much happening on the stochastic RSI same thing started happening here pretty much starting to rolling over on these uh, RSI uh, stochastic RSI MFI uh, same thing has been happening here uh, pretty much kind of rolling over here and same thing also start happening today is that well you know essentially well you know this is start making higher uh, highs and trying to really chug along but what happens is we're really losing some of his momentum uh, from his peak that you know as, as, as you know as as we had that you know little pullback there at that day ever since then uh, it seems like it's, you know, it's, it chugged along higher but it seems like it's been losing some of its momentum and even recently though you can see that that was recent move that we're, we're trying to go up higher there and you can see that definitely we're making some lows on these on these oscillators so you know these are also confirming the my chart analysis plus MACD analysis and uh, these oscillators are also confirming that so let's continue with our analysis here this is AD axis uh, also also known as directional movement uh, this uh, measures the strength of its trend so basically what it does is well you know when when, when stock goes up or an ETF goes up well it, it, it goes up or down it, it measures so if it goes up with it that basically saying that that move has strength so what happened is back here well it, it really hasn't really gone up we kind of started moving really sideways really hitting that 20 level here that's kind of basic saying it's a neutralizing that the trend is neutralizing so that confirms our early analysis back here same thing happened here well we found some good uh, just trend or support or that strength over here on this bullish move but once we start moving sideways you can see that this come down and then kind of flat on that 20 level which suggests that uh, we are losing momentum once it started going down we found that momentum yet again and so today kind of similar thing happening here uh, we are kind of essentially moving sideways uh, we, we found some strength on the way up let me see here actually that we found strength if we if I blow this up here let me blow that up you can see that this was a flat level almost and then once this thing start coming down, we see that ADX went up. You can see that ADX went up. That base is saying that there was some strength on this recent recent bearish move, recent this 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 uh, down downside move because probably it was a lot of volume at that at that level and so how fast it came down. And then we went up. What well, ADX is not really liking it. It's not really liking it and starting to kind of neutralize a little bit, but didn't really like that much, which confirms the volume analysis where we say that, well, if this thing went up, the volume hasn't been really, you know, confirming the move. Remember, the volume must confirm the trend. We're talking about minor trend here. So let's continue with our last analysis before we uh, look at the, you know, market opening in about 15 minutes here. We're looking at weekly chart. And one thing, again, this being weekly, I mean, I do not know this could take weeks before anything happens, but we are at the overbought status. Just because we're at overbought status doesn't mean it's going to roll over it just means that there could be some kind of sideways man even we could even grind higher you, you can see that we were overbought status we did grind higher but essentially we did form that divergence back here and that you know very steep decline did come along um, so you can see these overbought status and those are usually the early indicative that sign that it could be some kind of you know here you can see that we were overbought but we can't we went higher we went higher but essentially what you have to watch out for when that happens well we essentially formed the divergence we made higher highs here and then we made a lower uh, lower highs essentially there was a market crash back in 2007 with that kind of early sign so if you can have to read these signs you can have to really time these market before anything or before any kind of pullback or any kind of a correction or move there so that's my um, you know what I've been looking at the market so today will be very important very I'm very excited kind of interesting to interested to see where the market is going to trade today where it's going to close because obviously like I said you know that looking at this 
um, looking at this here is very important that where we close today we're gonna you know are we gonna hold the bears gonna hold this level here or is it going to um, is it gonna make on a little high and again the concerning matter is that we've been putting these low equal lows which suggests that the trend has been starting to really diminish its strength here so well that's everything uh, for me this morning hope you guys uh, uh, have a good day trading and I uh, hope you guys have a great Tuesday